space to see how they are reacting to some of the issues trending on that space. And we do have Rena Obozege, uh, you know, coming here to lead us into all of that. Good morning. Good morning, Hi, Karo. Rena. Uh, Otutoma. Otutoma. <laughs> uh, Ulegwe. <laughs> you know I can see her legs. <laughs> 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 all right, Lena, Rena, you have the floor. Thank you. See you later. Okay, good morning and welcome to a new week. I'm Rena Obozegi and this is Kakaki Social, where we start the week with politics and with the 2023 presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Atiku Abubakar, and his running mate in the 2019 presidential election, that is Peter Obi. Well, in an interview with BBC House, uh, Atiku disclosed that would be if Obi is chosen as the PDP's presidential candidate in the 2023 general election. And about Obi's recent visit to his, Atiku says it was just a friendly meeting as persons in opposition political parties do. So let's see what he is saying here, translated. He says, I have said repeatedly, and I even said it before the 2023 general elections, that if the PDP decides to zone the presidential ticket to the south or southeast specifically, I won't contest it. And then he continued in the next slide to say that as long as it's the decision of the party, I will abide by it. But I contested the 2023 presidential ticket because it was thrown open to all members of the party. If the party decides that it is the turn of the southeast and Peter Obi is chosen, I won't hesitate to support him. But then the news here is, ah, uh, ah. Uh, What's, what's going on here? Peter Obi is Labour Party, you are PDP, so what's the relationship here and what's the marriage? So Ray says, if you support Obi in 2027, all his sins will be forgiven. You will see how obedient would defend and love Atiku like Weary. And then jobless caption or captain says, Mead supporting Mead is just like Ronaldo giving advice to the new generation of players on how to win the World Cup. I mean, this that was so low and I know that Ronaldo fans will come for you right there. Okoyami says, you fail to account for the rest. He said, if PDP says it's the time for Southeast, then he may step down. The question here is, is PO a PDP member, how can he play the politician to make PDP zone to Southeast? And he says, Ariel. And then Loretta Onoche from the APC is saying that, praying to God, our Father and our God. Yes, it's me, your son. I pray that Atiku steps down for OB so that 2027 would be an easy job for APC re election. You know, I never ask you for anything because you are a responsible father who provides for me always. Thank you for answered prayers. And that is um, on a chair right there, tweeting from the Obodo Yibo where she has been. But then let's see how it happens because I don't know what the meetings have been, but Atiku says it's just them. Um, friendly matches that people in opposition political parties do. But we move away from that to say that a military officer said to be a senior personnel over the weekend nabbed a Nigerian soldier extorting money from motorists. This was after disguising as a civilian and paying the extortionist with marked Naira note. Well, before his action, he had made a video now on social media of he marking the denominations that he would be buying his way with. Let's see how that works worked out for him. Open this money. This one, no, this new one. Open it. No, open this other new one. This one. Turn it. Open this one. Turn it. No, let it face me. Let it face me. Let it face me. What can you, what can you see here? On top is zero. Eh? Here, Ko. What can you see? So that was the case for him. Unfortunate people would say, but let's see how they took the issue away from, you know, 
doing that to a younger colleague. But um, Adetunji says, yes, the senior officer wrote on the Naira note, so he could use it as evidence, but he didn't have to do that. All he needed was to write out the unique numbers of the Naira notes he wished to use as evidence. And then this user says, not nice, that senior officer, office, officer i guess should be bold and man up face them instead of this coding of money still you no go solve any problems till everyone retires law no need to embarrass and disgrace your fellow soldier this way so for him that was embarrassment and then most says this should have been treated in-house they have the means to caution others internally without putting it on social media and final thoughts on this is coming from daniel who says the military officer caught the Nigerian soldier extorting money but isn't writing on Naira note also considered Naira abuse going by the law. He's also in the wrong and the EFCC can take him to court for that. Unfortunately, he's got a case. He should have looked for a smarter way to do this and that's how the issue was taken away from the action to how it was done. But then we come back to Abuja, the federal capital territory, where the police command here says the military personnel who were involved in Saturday's clash with some customers at New Banex Plaza in Abuja have been handed over to the Nigerian Army for necessary sanctions. Well, personnel of the Nigerian Army Corps of Military Police on Saturday evening allegedly stormed Banex Plaza in Abuja and beat up passers-by and security guards. The assault on civilians was said to be a reprisal for an earlier free-for-all that broke out well, between four military personnel, police personnel and some traders at the gadget market earlier same Saturday. <laughs> Playing that because the soldiers came back in this video we see now. World War II. Soldiers don't come back. World War II. Soldiers don't come back. World War II. Where did they come from? Hey, see you, 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 Jesus. Well, we learned those officers have been arrested and a case or said to be from a soldier. What really transpired was that he said they sold fake iPhone 15 Pro Max for our soldiers. The batteries swell up to the point of explosion. They brought the phone back that is not a good phone. The owner of the shop reported to the police that soldiers are constituting nuisance in his shop. And then the police did not listen to our part of the story. They spray our soldiers tear gas and ask those to beat those guys to beat them that they are fake soldiers so apparently that was what transpired right there but the authorities have stepped in we would wait for updates and details of what exactly transpired now to sport the 2023 20, 2024 premier league title race came down to the wire between manchester city and arsenal well both teams had a chance to win the championship on the final day manchester city held a two-point advantage going into the match against west ham where they denominated the game and scored a comfortable three to one victory meanwhile arsenal won their game against everton but city's win meant their effort were ultimately in vain so there wasn't a dramatic comeback for City but their win over the West Ham solidified their fourth consecutive Premier League title leaving Arsenal had broken after hoping to win the title for the first time in 20 whole years I do know that my friends most of you you are Arsenal fans so Dino Melaye has made a video comforting you guys or even encouraging you to say that oh whatever cup 
cup na cup as in any which way now we but because we are out of time we leave it at that and bring back uncle and uh, yeah <laughs> to the show oh i would have loved to see that music you know dino has a way with his music <laughs> absolutely but i see we Anyways, need to run yes i, I think pima should uh, list him as one of their members <laughs> as a I really performing saw that. Musician, if so we could even roll it, you will see that he's carrying cups and plates in his house saying that oh <laughs> if we could not get the cup here are cups and anything in red just works for us and of course you know Dino is an Arsenal fan judging by the cap he's wearing in that yes, video he's, been, he's, been. Uh, he's even gone spiritual one time for them just to pray for their victory uh -uh. you know fans can be interesting really I saw the argument yesterday as a place where I was they were almost uh, going to physicals over who should win and who mm -hmm. should win anyway <laughs> let's let you go Rena because we've got a lot to talk about on I the show see. today Bye. you have a great day you too all right thank you Rena thank you too.